and see what he's about. Okay. Whoa. That's weird. Let's just look at his movement for a second. His forward movement is good. You can't retreat? I'm just holding back. You can't press back from this far? Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'll get in in a second. I'm just gonna go through his move list real quick. Okay, very standard. You can't really cancel his dashes like you can Marie's. Side dash? Whoa. <laughs> That sidestep is super shallow. It's hardly a sidestep. I mean, it's good enough, but I don't see it dodging a lot. Mainly his sidestep right. Dude. His sidestep right hardly sidesteps him. I want to see if, like, Marie can just stab him. Like, can he sidestep it? Like a, like a forward two on Marie? I don't know, that's risky. Sidestep left definitely looks better. Uh, let's see. His back movement is weird. I need to look at the other character's back movement, but he has like a very hard stop. His forward movement is good. That right there? Actually, no, is that just me hitting like the range? I guess so. No, he does. Okay, after three like retreats, he has like a little stop, which isn't that bad, I guess. You just can't hold back <laughs> that long. Got a sexy hip wiggle, that's funny. Wounded. Alright. Before we get to uh, wounded states, let's see. Sidestep. Sidestep right looks underwhelming. Sidestep left. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Sidestep left, also kind of underwhelming, but... Maybe better? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. That's a pretty good back dash, though. That's super good. Look at how far that is. If we're touching... That's nuts. That's a very good back dash. You just can't cancel it like you can like Marie's, but I think that's okay since it's so fucking far. You can really get out of there, wow. But look at how bad this sidestep is. <laughs> His sidestep movement is really good though. Like uh, Barabaz or uh, Sec. Uh, there's a startup to it. That's not too bad. There's a startup to the his retreating ones, though. Let's get closer. It's really not that bad movement. Hmm. 
Interesting. His normal movement in all eight directions is so good. But his dashes, I am not impressed by. Well, his sidestep dashes. His forward and back, his forward isn't bad. It looks standard though. There's a huge recovery, wow! Look at that recovery. You can see my inputs, right? Here, let me... Look how high this recovery is on his forward dash. Right? When I start to move back is when I can actually do something. That's kind of nuts. You can cancel it with an attack though, which is okay. Wow, the forward dash back dash is so slow on him. Okay. So maybe his dashes aren't that great. That recovery is nuts. Let's see. Did I just cause... I just caused him to bleed with this wooden stick. Can I cancel this? There is so much buffer to this. Or dash. Looks like he has a lot of decent like running moves though. Out of his forward dash. Mm. This is an interesting running attack. Okay, before we get to attacks. His dash is ass. I guess it's not awful, but maybe I'm spoiled by playing Marie, right? Alright, before we get to normal attacks, very standard. That might be a universal thing in the game. Um, long guard. I kind of like that guard. That's tight. He moves so quick. Yeah, similar to Barbaz and Jasek, yeah. Hmm. Alright. Move time. One. Neutral one. Ah. Neutral one looks very similar to Marie's long guard one. Well, that auto guard. All right, neutral two. One, two. All right, that's his combo, his target combo, I guess. Okay, very saber. Neutral three. That's an interesting swing. There's like a two part to that. Like the swing under is one part and then he does like an extra. That's so interesting looking. Okay, that's neutral three, neutral four. Can I combo them? No, I cannot. I can combo one, two, then do two, one. I can combo one, two and two, one. Can I do this? Can. Am I ever tired? Can I see my character's stamina? Guess not. Okay. Very standard. Um. Yeah, very standard uh, attacks so far on his neutral attacks. Do back. Back one. Back two. I like back two. I don't know how good it is, but... I like the way it looks. Back three. Whoa. 
back four. Okay, what you would expect, really. Okay, so let's do forward one. Okay, you can cancel this, so that's good. This looks like you definitely want to cancel this move. Oh, my, my controller is giant right now. I forgot to make it smaller. Here we go. His forward moves are very, very recovery heavy. Look at that. Look at how much time they're spent where his blade is facing the exact opposite way in his recovery. Rear. Rear. Weird. He has a lot of recovery, it looks like. Maybe on whiff? Okay. <clears throat> I don't see you ever wanting this animation to complete. I never see you wanting this to complete, really. There's so much recovery, and you can just put your blade out there and just cancel it for the attack portion. You can just never do that recovery part of the attack since it's faintable. Yeah, I feel like you should never do that. <laughs> You're just asking to die. Okay. That's cool. Okay, very standard forward moves. It's forward two. Or is it forward two? Um Or was it running two? Yeah, running two. Alright, running moves. Running three. Running four. Okay. Running one. Yeah, I never see you wanting to complete this move either. I took two hits. It's interesting. If he has chosen his coat to hide the blood. <laughs> or I see he has chosen his coat to hide the blood. Yeah, I like the way he looks, that's for sure. I mean, his boots are, uh, you know, whatever, but... Is that interesting? Forward one doesn't kill on one hit. Isn't that weird? Wouldn't you expect... Forward one... This move? With all that recovery? Wouldn't you expect that to kill? And look at how much... I mean, it's faintable, for sure. You should never really let it recover fully. There's no point. You burn the same amount of stamina, right? The fact that that doesn't kill is kind of crazy to me. You need two hits with forward one to kill. It might make a better side punish. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. It looks like... Um... It looks like all of his neutral moves, all of his forward moves, all of his neutral and forward moves are faintable. Okay. That might be pretty standard, actually. Uh, if I think about it, is that actually the case with all characters? Yeah, actually, yeah, I think it is. Okay. Okay. 
What's the feint that I would go for? This is an interesting feint. There's so much action to it, but it's nothing, right? Ah. Hmm. Can I use this feint to get my blade low? Like, can I... Hmm. Mm, I don't think so. I think when you faint, he just brings it back to standard. Yeah. I don't think you have time to use the height of the feint in your attack. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sidestep moves. Sidestep left, one. Is that straight from Barabas? Or... Just sec. I've seen this move before. Huh. Alright. Side step left. Two. <laughs> That's so standard. That doesn't kill on one hit either. I guess that makes sense with the side step. And how quick it is. Let's do side step left. Three. Whoa. I step left four. Nice big sweep. That's a one hit kill. Do I step left four again? Wow, that looks kind of tight. That's a barb move or Gideon. Can I make it work up close? I got it to hit him. Okay. I like sidestep left four, but there's a lot of recovery. That looks like you better be sure about it. But it'll kill if it hits, it looks like. Yeah, that was to the arm. Sidestep four has a crazy amount of lateral movement too. Like, okay, let's do it right in front of him. I'm like all the way 90 degrees to his right. Yeah, isn't that weird? That two hit... That was nuts. <laughs> Wait, what? Ah? What am I looking at? I guess I'm a little bit to his right. Hmm. Weird. I wonder if that's just because of the uh, mirrored guard. Because of course everybody's guard is going to be different in this game, right? So maybe that won't work against everybody. Alright. So side step one. Or uh, side step left one. Side step left two. Three. Four. Four I like. But they all seem to have their purpose. Hmm. Hold on. Side step left one and side step left three seem kind of similar. A lot more preparation to side step left one. Side step left three hits from kind of like mid going up. It's kind of high slashing down. Let's see. Does that count as a... Whoa. <laughs> if you do this... This dude might be tight in fighting. Uh, in fighting wise, like really close quarters. The first part of that, sidestep left one, actually counts as an attack. That's tight. Whoa, what? He might be sick up close. Hold on. What? <laughs> That's nuts. Just to get the guard on your left. That is so tight. Yeah, they're pretty good close quarters for sure. 
just like the fact that the preparation counts as an attack. I mean, I'm sure you could guard something with that too, and then parry it. I like that move. Sidestep left one looks tight. I was about to say, why would you use that over sidestep left three? Because there's so much preparation, but damn. This is... Alright, let's see. Is there any button I can press from this range that'll kill my opponent? Uh, if he's tired, yeah, I suppose. But doesn't look like it. Right? I don't know if that was because of stamina or not. Try it again. Okay. Let's see. At this distance, I think you're safe. Now if I sidestep one here, you're not. So the whole purpose of me just bashing this dude's face in against the corner <laughs> is to figure out Hodge Duke. Is that how you say his name? Uh, trying to figure out his lethal range, right? I don't think you can just bash somebody from here. Uh, maybe. If you... Oh, no. If he's tired, yeah. Okay. But, sidestep left one... Looks like it goes a little bit further than your neutral attacks. You have recovery, of course, in it, though, so you should probably be pretty sure about it. Still cool for infighting. That'd be tight. Lash low? Lash low? Uh, starting with the H? <laughs> the guy's name? No way. Really? Um, oh, sidestep right. Okay, let's do sidestep right. Just from sidestep left, I think this is pretty tight. Sidestep left one is pretty tight. I don't think you should use it that much long, long range or uh, medium range. Mainly because the prep does expose your entire chest. I wish I, I wish I could pause this without um, just showing this useless move list. Uh, but basically, at the beginning of this, your preparation really leaves you open. The end of it does have a, a decent amount of recovery as well. That's a lot of recovery. It's a lot. But, I guess if you're up close... It's not a bad option for end fighting. Okay. What about sidestep left three? Because they're so similar that. Oh, what? That didn't kill. But the fact that it went right around his guard. That's crazy. Hold on. Let's get more parallel. Let's uh, reset. Isn't that interesting? It's not Hush Duke anymore or whatever. They changed it? What? Why? It's weird. Sidestep left three. Up close specifically. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like you get paid too much from a distance using sidestep three. Sidestep left three. His infighting seems good so far. I haven't even gone through sidestep right, but with this and sidestep left three, he looks like 
he might do some damage up close. You don't get a kill with sidestep left three, it looks like. Basically ever, unless maybe they run into it. Yeah, you don't get a kill off of that. But, it looks like a lot quicker than uh, sidestep one. So maybe you want to just get that in. Like on timing, but the sidestep one is really what you want to do for the kill. See, two, four. <laughs> Sidestep left four is a little bit weird. How it bounces off of him. Look at that. <laughs> Sidestep left four might be straight shenanigans territory. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They... <laughs> That's a lot of shenanigans in this one. I killed them one time. I just punched them the other time. Sometimes it bounces off and then just hits them in the head. I don't know how I feel about this move, actually. Yeah, I wanna say you should do this as opposed to, you know, the things that you know would work like Side step left one, or side step left three, for just the damage. I guess you would have to do it twice to kill. Or if you, for example, got... Mm, let's see. What did we find that did damage, but didn't kill? Forward one. So if you got that, now you should probably prioritize sidestep left three over sidestep left one right this should kill and it's a lot quicker and less commitment than sidestep left one right so i could see actually there being use cases for both of them if he's one tap definitely sidestep left three if you're up close but if he has full health sidestep left one will kill a lot more commitment, though. Doing sidestep left three while your opponent has full health might be very silly, honestly. Unless you are, like, super sure you can get out without taking damage yourself. But in this game, that's pretty hard to do. You should die now. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Let's try sidestep right. Sidestep right one. That's separate two. That's separate three. That's separate four. That's hefty. But it puts your opponent's guard incredibly low. Okay. Can you. Okay. This guard here, the. <laughs> the inside low guard. I want to see if there's another attack that puts my opponent into this guard. Because this is prime flesh material, right? I mean, I don't know his flesh, but... Or his running attacks. What would be his, like, quickest running attack. But putting your opponent in this guard is definitely... Good. Well, I'm close. I'm too close, so I'm just punching him. Yeah. Definitely good to get your opponent into this guard, but burning a sidestep action on it might be risky. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Sidestep right one, two, three, four. Four looks super chunky. One and two seem like exactly what you would expect three kind of weird exposing his uh elbow like that but it is kind of saberish right so it makes sense does it go under the guard oh maybe depending on the angle let's just face each other right
Does this kill on one hit? Let's see. No, it does not. Okay, down three does not kill on one hit. Has a ton of uh, lateral movement baked in. Not bad. It's a lot better than his fucking sidestep, right? Like how much... <laughs> Look how much distance he covers with his sidestep. And now look at his down three. It's weird. Weird that they would make that choice. But okay. Down three is a lot more committal. Than I would say... Uh, sidestep right. One or two. These seem pretty standard. Um, what else? A oh, long guard. Long guard one. Ooh, dude. Give Marie this, man. That is a proper fencing lunge. I mean, his arm is a little bit, you know, jank, but. Are you kidding me? Bro. Wait, hold on. How do I get his guard low? Get his guard low? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Let's reset, let's reset. Wow. He actually does have time to guard it does it not kill this doesn't kill look at this attack that's a proper lunge honestly I'm very surprised that these things are not killing very good poke though well, okay, I guess you could say that since he's more of a saber type character, just given the class or the characters that already exist in this game, I guess you could argue that his long range lunge should probably not be a one hit kill, or else really you would just have a really great movement, base movement character with a one tap long range one killing or one hit move so i guess that makes sense but damn do i want this move on marie that's such a proper <laughs> like yeah this makes me so happy long guard four is a better lunge this one? Or was it three? Two? Or maybe it's forward. Whoa. Alright. Long guard two. Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? Is that different? I can't tell. It looks the same. Long guard one and two look the same. Yeah, they look the same. Let's do long guard three, four. Okay, that's your blade beat. Okay. Or a circle move? Ooh, special moves. Do back retreating moves. I want to see a back two kills. It does not.
Okay. Um, what else do we have? His execution. Can't do it in practice mode. Uh, oh, his special moves. This is his special move. Quarter circle back one. Whoops, sorry. What the hell kind of move is that? Whoa! Actually, that might be tight. Whoa! How do you aim this thing? Uh. How do you aim this thing? Maybe it is specifically a feint into an attack. You really shouldn't use it outside of that. Can I? Oh man, if I could take this dude's head off. If I could take this dude's head off, it might be a decent move. I don't want to be that close to have to take his head off, right? Because we're already in danger around here. This is already danger with long guard, right? You shouldn't really mess around at this range. Hmm. Does this do damage? Oh, oh, oh he has a kick. Hmm. How do we use this? I want to reset. What? You might be able to pull this off, but man, the first part of it, the entire preparation to it is just exposing your entire noggin. But it looks like you can catch the head from certain ranges. Doesn't look easy though. Oh. Oh, how are you alive? Friend! Dude! Bro! <laughs> what is happening? Alright, his quarter circle move might just be a gimmick. Which, so far, they do seem to uh, all be kind of gimmicky, to be fair. Let's do a quarter circle forward, too. That's quarter circle forward, too. It doesn't kill. That move is so underwhelming. It's core circle forward too. It's just a chop. That should be in long guard. <clears throat> like this should be long guard one, and then this should be long guard two. Why did they put this behind quarter circle forward two? What else do we need to know about him, I guess? I love that move so much. I'm definitely about to use that. Let's see if I separate X again. All right. 